Hey everybody, I'm Mitzi Roberts. You might know me from Dance Express or Dancing with the Mankato Stars. I'm excited for you to come in and meet my friend Carrie, and let's get cooking today. Well, hey, look who's here. It's my friend Carrie Halber. And all my friends, Carrie, you know, when they think of Mitzi, they think, what a gourmet cook. <laughs> yes, they do. No, they don't. I'm lucky if I remember to feed my kids lunch <laughs> and make them dinner. But whenever I do have a go-to event, I always do dial in Carrie, and she is the expert when it comes to just beautiful spreads and beautiful appetizers and things like that. So thank you for coming today. Absolutely glad and to be here. I'm excited because we're going to be doing a charcuterie board. So a charcuterie board is kind of the new trendy thing when you go to parties, it's taking a piece of any piece of board or any um, anything that you have and just putting all kinds of cheeses and meats and fruits and all kinds of things like that. So we're going to be dialing into that and hopefully we'll have a party tonight, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's make a charcuterie board, should we? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have this beautiful board and you know where I got this? In Lanesboro, Minnesota. This Earlier this summer, we went down there with the kids and there was a little flea market, farmer's market, and I picked it up from a local and it's just gorgeous, made out of a piece of dark walnut. Beautiful. So how does that look for our starting point? Beautiful. And then of course we need some cheeses on there, right, Carrie? We do need some cheeses and I'll show you. I also have a board here, which I really enjoy. It's got individual serving areas and then a place to put crackers or bread. But then this piece you can put in your refriger refrigerator or freezer and it oh, gets cold and it keeps awesome. the coolness. So it holds keeps the, the meat cool, it's marble keeps and the it cheese keeps cool and it's a nice, nicely featured board. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. You already have it already filled with some goodies. So she's got some yep. olives in here. And what kind of olives are those? Those are just some marinated and a nice olive blend and it's kind of a staple on a charcuterie board. Okay. And then I've got hummus, which also is pretty much staple on any of my boards. And then I've got some pickles, some really flavorful pickles, pickles to kind of set off both the meat and the cheese on the boards. And I picked those up at the food co-op in St. Peter's. So, and they have a good variety of kind of some homegrown pickles over there that are fun. Absolutely. Yep. One other thing, um, I, there's a publication that is just beautiful. It's called Platters and Boards. So if you're looking for a great book, it goes through and kind of talks about boards for different occasions and there's lots of it's there's just a lot of inspiration in here and there's it's there's themed boards and all kinds of fun things and I find myself going back and looking at this but and I like it because it has actual pictures in it I need I'm a visual person mm -hmm. so I need to see mm -hmm. what the end result is going to look like so that is really and the really other good. thing is a lot of what you're going to see here today is stuff out of my garden um, it's it's out of my herb garden, out garden. of my garden garden, <laughs> and um, you just use what you have. That's kind of the beauty of it. So super important to just get inspired. These are some of my herbs that I'll be either using in the ingredients, but also garnishing the trays with, so. Very nice, okay. Yeah. So we have a variety. I picked up some things um, that I think would just lend itself to yeah. this type of thing. Lots of different fun crackers, and I just picked these up at hy and Cup Foods here in Mankato. Um, we've got some little dried fruits and some almonds, and so let's get after it, shall we? Yeah, that sounds okay. good. So let's start with, do we start with maybe the crackers? Yeah, okay. let's start with some crackers. All right, so I've got these littler guys. I'm going to let you kind of take the lead here, Carrie, so, and then I'll follow suit. Okay. So these there are no rules. You just place them wherever you, wherever there's a good spot to put them in and you just kind of create something that's visually appealing, but also make it easy for your guests to grab, grab and go. So just kind of so play. So I'm just going to kind of put them in um, this little slotted area. All right. I'm going to take you over go ahead and do yeah. that one. And I mean, if you think about it, it's like an, it's a canvas. It's a artist canvas and you're just kind of filling it in with all the different things. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to think of it. And so she's maybe on our some... next episode, Carrie, we can actually do one of those canvas paint parties. Rachel Ray episode. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. For sure. Okay. Um, some of our favorites include like pita chips, little mini wheat crackers. These are the non crisps. Again, you can't go wrong. Yep. So... And I think a variety of colors always good when it comes mm -hmm. to chips and crackers mm -hmm. and it things like that. It is all about the color. So I'm going to add some of the pita chips as well. Thank you. 
And you can see by some of the other bowls and things that we have out here too, that I've got lots of peppers, I've got some fruit, I've got some nuts. So I just kind of go with um, where the winds take me when I'm building these things. This one, you know, if I was building it for inside, I might build it a little differently than if I were on a boat or outside on a deck. So just keep your um, eating place in mind when you're doing that. Looks great already. I love okay. it. So, so now I think I'm going to start working on some veggies and some fruit and I'm going to have Mitzi, oops, I'm going to have Mitzi cut up some meat okay. and cheeses and we'll talk through those a little bit. That sounds good. Um, yeah, so we, I, I bought a variety of meats here. We have the pancetta, we have pepperoni, um, salami, and then of course the um, prosciutto ham, which is one of my favorites. Yes. So you want me to cut them up? What size, Carrie, should I do? Well, I do it a couple different ways. Sometimes I do bite size, and then sometimes I take that thin roll of the prosciutto and I roll it. Oh, so nice. So the very thin slice, and I just roll it into a little um, circular piece, which is easy to grab, okay. kind of like a matchstick. So I'm gonna almost. just, I'm gonna try that right away. So just a little roll. Yep. Do you cut it smaller or leave it nope, this size? I leave it that size. Finger size then, yep. perfect, yep. okay. I'm gonna just start creating over here and you grab and place. I'm gonna throw on some cherry tomatoes from my garden over on this end. Oh, I bet those are great. Yeah. And one thing, you know, whatever- Maybe on our next episode, we could do a gardening episode. I would love that, Mitzi. That would be awesome. Let's so I love to serve my trays with just a really nicely chilled rosé. Um, you can use a white wine. It, Anything goes. Um, a sparkling water. Um, so. Do you want some right now? Yes. Okay. I do. I've got some glasses right here. Let's the consummate hostess, always the hostess. Right. Okay. Wait. So you have to undo that tab. All right. I'll and go I'm over gonna, here. I'll I'm going to keep shot. working on assembly here. Or guess what? I have some. Ooh, some already open. I do have some already open. Can we do that? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so you can see that we're just starting to put things together. Again, no right or wrong. Looking for a pops of color, looking for your people being able to easily pull those things off. I'll put little forks or little toothpicks in there so that um, we can easily access all of the yummy stuff on that board. Um, we're gonna get into um, some of our cheeses next too, and I wanna talk to you a little bit about some of my favorite cheeses. Um, Alamar actually, uh, is has Mankato roots. It, it started here originally, um, Keith Adams. Oh. And I just, the, the quality of his product is just outstanding. So I'm almost always certain, you almost certainly find some Alamar cheese on any of my boards. And he, he has clever names, you know, so this one's Bent River, this one's Good Thunder, there's Blue Earth yes. I saw when I was picking this up. And the rind of this cheese has a beer wash on it. Just really great flavor additions. And then I've got a little Lucy Brie and this um, cheese place is outside of, not so far from where I grew up in New London Spicer, it's in Bruton, Minnesota. And it's called uh, the Redhead Creamery and she does on-site tours so you can go and see how the cheese is made, you can meet the cows, you can talk <laughs> about their process. She takes the milk right from the barn and ports it through these tubes right into um, the cheese making area. So I was just there a couple weeks ago, she's fantastic, the product is fantastic make sure they're part of your board. Very good. And this is um, a local company too, Just Select, and this is the Prairie Farms, and they're out of Faribault. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. I was buying that and the cashier said, that is my favorite cheese in the entire world, and he eats it like an apple. I was like, geez, that's, that's really loving your cheese. That is loving your cheese. Yes, all right, I'm gonna open these for you, so. Okay. So Mitzi's going to start cutting some cheese and then we'll just continue to build and you can kind of see, you can kind of capture the tone now. I've added some basil and some rosemary for garnish. I can also use that as flavor additions on top of um, any of these things and it's just a nice pop of color and a nice pop of taste and it's just the perfect thing. Looks, it already looks so pretty. I just love the look. I'm gonna do a couple. Now, these salamis, don't you think leave them big? I would probably oh. cut those in halves or okay. quarters most, more likely than not. All right, that way it's more finger food rather than, you know, and making it easy again for your guests. And I typically, a lot, you can display your cheese too. 
but I typically like to have cut pieces of my cheese available so that people don't have to worry about cutting as they're going through walking by your board. That makes so. it more inviting, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And I think I have seen it both ways where they keep the cheese slicer right there and you can, you can always start it and yes. leave a little chunk so it looks cute too, yes. you know? Yes. So there I'll let go. you assemble a few more things okay. in here. Sounds I'm going to cut up this cucumber. And again from my garden, I garden with a friend of mine, Amy Orchid. She and I have a, a large plot out by Lake Washington, and it's we've had a huge yield this year, so that's kind of that's fun. That's great. Yeah. Amy's another master, master chef and cook. I just she feel like she does is. such a good job. She is. I'm gonna grab some of this. <clears throat> Wait, what happened to our wine? I, it's right here. That one's mine and that one's yours. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I, for, you know, you were in the middle of telling a really nice story, so okay. I didn't want to interrupt you. Talking, talking again. Yeah, right? Okay. Mm -mm. So again, those are just a few suggestions, but anything goes. So, I mean, if you don't like cucumbers or as many vegetables and you don't like hummus, change it up a little bit. Um, I'm a big nut girl, so this is a new nut that I just tried. My sister from Seattle brought it to a family reunion last week, and it's baru, a dry roasted baru. And, I, of course, the cashews are always my favorite. Okay. Um, yeah. And I got some almonds, too. So I have, uh, let's see, where are they? Oh, right here. They are just the, with the pink Himalayan salt on there. So Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Okay. So we're going to cut up a little cheese. All right. And then I think what we'll do is move on to, you can kind of get a flavor for what we're doing and I'll keep working on this board, but I think what we're going to do is maybe switch over to a kid board. Yeah, so instead of a charcuterie board, it'll be a charcuterie board because what little kids don't love? Finger foods and things like that and make yes. it really special for them. Very cute. Great idea, Mints. I think all those moms are probably at home. You know, they're right now they're doing uh you know staying home and kind of trying to lay low and so it just to have that little fun snack in the middle of the afternoon and the kids can help put it together which is fun i would have to say that it is a universal crowd pleaser um, my kids um, i spent a week with them last week and they're grown one is in denver and one that lives in minneapolis and they have become pros at putting their own charcuterie boards together too that's so and fun it's fun to just and they're, have a they're few 20 cocktails right? yeah so yeah it's, it's, they're it's 23 and 26 so it's uh, kind of fun, and in fact, it's kind of turned into a little bit of a competition in our family <laughs> to see who can build the prettiest board. Oh, Imagine I love that. it. So, yeah. yeah. If you follow Carrie on Instagram, you know that their family does some pretty amazing things, and they I can see some of those competitions maybe maybe uh, popping up on there, maybe, huh? Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Good idea. All right, so should we put that one out in the front so it's yeah. kind of clear? Let's and yeah. Let's do that. I'll move this around a little bit. And I do have some dried fruits on there, but we can, I mean, we're going to probably just leave that one. Do we want to sprinkle some of those around? Yeah. And I do it. have some um, caramelized pecans that, that look so good at the store. And there's certainly more I can add to this, but at least you kind of get a sense for the flavor, the look and the feel. Another thing with hummus that I typically like to do is kind of bathe it, um, bathe the top of it in olive oil and then just put some... Um, herbs on top of that too it just adds a little extra moisture kind of notice I'm you're just kind of scattering that so it's not yep. all in a pile yeah especially with that little finger food stuff um and maybe oh this is some gouda but it's it's called moon cheese so they're just like little puffs we have dead air going carrie Good to talk <laughs> There. So pretty. So nice. So great. Makes me want to have a party right now. Right. Who wouldn't want to bite of that? Yeah. Okay. So we'll kind of clear some of this yeah. off. Some of this Let's will be it. good for the kid board as well. Yeah. And again, for sure. different so kid board, for different you know, obviously folks. those, a lot of that stuff, they, it'd be a little bit strong flavor for them. So we have some ingredients over here. I, I have a different type of board for them. For them, I have a more of a chalkboard idea. This is just a, it's just a cheese platter. But the nice thing is, is you can write little messages. You can put their names on it. I just did ABC123 so that they, you math. know. Math. Math and reading. That does not make children smile. <laughs> yes, it does, <laughs> They love doing homework. 
So now for their cheese, you know, some of these cheeses are way too strong for a little, little guy or a little girl. So um, these little baby bells are fun. So you've probably seen them where you wrap okay. off the wax and it's just like a little project for them. So that's always fun and it's good and healthy and it's a mild cheese. And then we have, of course, like just cheese sticks, but again, things that they can grab and go, but it looks inviting for them, relatively healthy. Um, I've got some peanut butter filled pretzels, which is always a hit. My favorite. Yes. So again, you're just kind of putting a few little items out there. You have some goldfish crackers and you know, you could do something cute with your goldfish where you're maybe having a little school of fish and they're, they're uh, you know, all floating in one the same direction, you know, have a little pattern with that. Super this is cute. This would be a really thing, great thing that they could do with you too, because yes. they, it gets them excited about what they're going to be eating. Raspberries are always a good thing for, for littles and they just gobble it up. And really, I mean, teens would love this too. I don't think it has to be just littles. I agree. But you know, having just a variety out there, some carrots, of course, good finger food. I'm going to try to, Change it up with color. You know, I have uh, already the oranges over here, so we're gonna just kind of yeah. separate that a little bit. Some reds there. Yeah, that looks great. And here's some, these are called yellow berries. Golden berries. Golden, Golden berries. berries. And they yeah. are so different and they're kind of, so it's kind of fun to introduce some new flavors on there. So the kids will get excited about trying something brand new. I know my kid always made me buy weird fruits like dragon fruit and passion fruit and mm -hmm. got excited about it. Mangoes, um, papayas. Yeah, definitely. Maybe let's cut a little bit of these up into yep. finger food size. And I'll do a little bit. Of, these little baby cucumbers are good. And what I thought would be kind of fun is to take ranch dressing. You know, that kids love ranch. And, you, you know, if you display it in something really inviting, it makes it even more fun. So... Just, just, I have a little egg cup. You can fill it up with their little ranch and they can dip it in there. So we have that maybe in the center and then let's do some yeah. little cucumbers. Another thing that you always seem to have on your boards are just little slices of pears. And there's yes. just something so refreshing when you're um, eating cheese and meat um, to have a little bit of pear Just on there too. And peaches fruit. are always always a good hit too. Yeah. So you can see that the colors are really starting to pop on this board. And I agree with Mitzi. I love the chalkboard background where you can personalize a message or um, say something special about whoever's hosting or whatever you'd like, whatever yeah. sort of messaging some, you'd like. If it's a celebration of some sort, you could write happy birthday. Yeah. So, and then... You know, kids love nuts too, so you can definitely sprinkle those throughout. Uh, maybe peanuts would be more appropriate for a little kid, unless they have allergies, yeah. of course, you'd want to avoid that. They probably wouldn't get into some of the fancier nuts, but you know, whatever your family is used to, so. The other thing to remember too, uh, you might not be able to fit everything on your tray, so you can always put it in a basket, serve it on the side. This tray has some spinach artichoke dip off to the side. You can always just build kind of a nice display around your charcuterie board too. And it works well for any party or gathering. And I was thinking that for kids too, you could find clever things probably at the dollar store mm -hmm. that to build it off of, you know, even like a, if they have lunch pails or not lunch pails, but um, you know, buy clean pails that you would be digging in the sand with and fill it with all kinds of popcorns yeah. and that things like that. It's just, just great. As to the fun. I think they turned out great. What do you think? I love them. All I right. can't wait to dig in. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to our party. And here's to the next episode.